On September 29, 2020, people from Southern California witnessed the terrifying crash of a Marine Corps F-35 Joint Strike Fighter after colliding with a KC-130J Hercules during a mid-air refueling exercise. Observers on the ground filmed the F-35 fighter as it made its way through the desolated land, leaving behind a trail of smoke. A moment later, the fighter exploded in a massive fireball. In the 10-second long video, one of the spectators, a woman standing near a yellow jeep, asks in Spanish, quote, is the other one okay, referring to the gigantic KC-130. Although not shown in the video, the USCM pilot ejected successfully before the crash. However, the crew of the KC-130J, with two engines out and rapidly leaking fuel, was at a hard spot for survival. Searching for a landing place for a colossal airplane, such as a KC-130 gunship, was no easy thing. Running out of time, the pilot decided to flip a coin in the air and attempt an emergency landing at a farmer's field near Riverside, California. The pilot ordered the crew to brace for impact and performed the feat. Miraculously, the entire crew survived and sustained minor injuries, as did the aircraft. Landing the 75,000-pound Colossus was a remarkable success that could have gone sideways. The F-35B was assigned to the Green Knights of Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 121 and the KC-130J to the Raiders of Marine Aerial Refueler Transport Squadron 352. Both were performing a weapons and tactics instructor course that was going according to plan. In an interview with USNI News, a Marine spokeswoman said that, quote, WTI is a seven-week training event hosted by Marine Aviation Weapons and Tactics Squadron 1, which emphasizes operational integration of Marine Corps aviation in support of a Marine Air Ground Task Force. Everything seemed to go well when the planes began the mid-air refueling. But suddenly, the collision occurred. The F-35B went directly into a dive, and the pilot lost complete control of the aircraft before the crash. However, the KC-130 Hercules stayed in the air for longer, while the pilot looked for a spot to land without further damaging the plane and the eight-man crew. Audio recordings from air traffic control published online revealed how professionally the KC-130J pilot dealt with the situation after the collision. Flying under the call sign Raider 50, the KC-130J is initially heard requesting the LA Center to fly into the high-altitude block of the Kane West MOA near the Salton Sea. The area was crowded with aircraft traffic, but the KC-130 was cleared to enter at almost 18,000 feet. Based on a report from USNI News, after minutes of peace and silence, the pilot from American Airlines Flight 237 contacted air traffic control and told the LA Center, quote, We're going to report that there was some sort of flares, some sort of pyrotechnic device, at our 2 o'clock position, less than 10 nautical miles, maybe 5 miles away, at an altitude of probably 25,000 feet. The American Airlines pilot also pointed at the exact site where the F-35B exploded. Immediately after that, Raider 50 contacted air traffic control and said, quote, LA Center, LA Center, Raider 50 declaring an emergency, mid-air collision with Vault 93. We have two engines out, we are leaking fuel and likely on fire, and an emergency descent at this time, Raider 50. Air traffic control asked the aircraft to confirm if they were really going down. The KC-130 pilot was only able to say, quote, We declare an emergency, we have still partial control of the aircraft, two engines out. LA Center was not able to make full contact again as the KC-130 began to rapidly lose altitude. For a brief second, air traffic control heard the pilot say that engines 3 and 4 were also gone, but contact broke out. Although the pilot aimed for the thermal airport near the Salton Sea, he landed at a farmer's field near the zone. The pilot and the crew survived and only suffered minor wounds. The aircraft, besides the engines, only sustained damage to its belly. One day after the crash video emerged online and media outlets published it, an official press statement was released detailing the accident's background. Marine Corps Air Station Yuma said, quote, At approximately 1600, it was reported that an F-35B made contact with the KC-130J during an air-to-air -air refueling evolution, resulting in the crash of the F-35B. The pilot of the F-35B ejected successfully and is currently being treated. The KC-130J is on deck in the vicinity of Thermal Airport. All crew members of the KC-130J have been reported safe.
As First Lieutenant Brett Vanier, a spokesman from the USMC Air Station Yuma, said, quote, It was an impressive maneuver, bringing it down safely by force. His skills kind of speak to itself, just in the fact that everyone survived. <laughs> 